Yo, what's up guys, it's Transair38 coming at you with some more Transformers Robots in Disguise action. Today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Autobot Storm Shot. And there he is, in his nice robot mode, very awesome. And we're going to switch it up on you this time, fellas. We're going to go from robot mode that comes packaged in. He comes packaged as in robot mode. And we're going to go from robot mode to vehicle mode and back to robot mode. So just to switch it up for you guys. And off to the side, I do have my Xbox on. I was playing some Rocket League with a couple buddies of mine. So the, the soundtrack is still playing. Uh, you know how it goes on games that has the soundtracks. But I uh, figured just leave it playing. It sounds pretty good. But anyway, moving right along here. Here we have Stormshot in his robot mode. But first, we're going to sit him off to the side and take a quick look at the packaging. Get him to stand there. A nice picture of Storm Shot. It's like, hey, what's up? You know, very cool. Robots in disguise, Transformers, Storm Shot's jet mode. Come on, set side. You got your uh, same artwork arrow on the front. Come around the back. You got your uh, obligatory product shots. He changes in 11 steps, and there's your instructions on here since they don't give you instructions no more. And you can scan scan the Autobot logo in the app and unlock stuff in the games, all that good stuff. And on the bottom, also sewed separately, Starscream, Gridlock, and Strong Arm. So, yay for packaging. So moving right along here, we have Stormshot in his robot mode. And he does come packaged with two guns he can dual wield. It's pretty cool, nice casting in black plastic. You can dual wield them, or there's a little slot right in there to stick this in there. You get one bigger gun, so it's your choosing, whatever you want to do with it. So, very cool, very nice red, white, and blue Autobot. Very nice. Thought it was going to be another smoke screen wannabe, but you know, you know, there's more, more than one red, white, and blue robot. Very neat. So, you know, said moving right along. Take out the details on him. You got Autobot logo right there. Some nice red, some blue on his chest. His wings have the Autobot logos on the back. I do believe on both sides. Yep, on both sides. He's just white, uh, red, white, and blue. Casted in different plastic. So, very nice. So, getting there on the head sculpt. Very nice silver for the face, red for the visor. And then you got some uh, red and white for the head crest on his on his head. And you got some nice details on the side of his head too. You can spin his head around. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, yeah. Very awesome indeed. Now, to cover off articulation here before we do size comparisons. His arms rotate all the way around, but you got those wings back here. But he uh, has a hinge back and forth. Right in here, you got a swivel at the elbow, El nice 90 degree bend of elbow joint, and then his hands collapse in and out for transformation. Nothing in the waist. His legs move back and forth. Thigh swivel, very tight. Very nice knee joint. And uh, his legs and his feet pivot up and down due to transformation. So there's your posability for this guy. And his head does rotate back and forth. It's not on a ball joint, which sucks. But again, what could you do, guys? But yeah, very cool. So we'll set him off to the side here and bring a size comparison in. And it is, uh, grab a hold of her. Scatter spike for a size comparison. Bring in uh, Decepticon Bisque. Bring him over here. Size comparison wise for them. Very cool. So, very cool. Cool indeed. Now, to get him in trans uh, just jet mode, just remove his guns. Well, gun, big gun, or split them in half. First thing you want to do is collapse the fist in to the hands here. Like so, put his leg, 
move these out. These will hinge down, collapse them in, and then smash them together. You see the little tabs here, tab them together, put the feet down, and then right here you see that little tab right here and this little slot right here get tabbed into the back like so. You can, but I do. Well, you can or cannot. I mean, can if you want. Spin this head around so it's not shown in robot mode. And the cool thing is, just move this section up completely. Move his wings up at the same time. You want to pull this up towards your back. This will swing down, come down like so. And you can peg it all together. <clears throat> and there we go, we got him in his robot. Oh, well, not robot mode, jet mode. Very nice. Kind of reminds you of Starscream a little bit. Very nice. You can see the all bought decals on the wings, thruster de details. I'll straighten these up here if you want. Gives you like the front engines of the jet. Very neat. Now for the guns. There's a little porch right here and here. You can do it either side. Post them in. Or then there's a port right there. You can do the combined mode of them. By putting a big gun right there. It's your figure. Do whatever you want to do with it. So, yeah, very neat. Very neat indeed. Now for size person, let's bring in a couple of my new additions. Bring in Autobot Blur. Out of his wave, I do believe he. This is the same wave that he's in, and he got sound wave. Very neat. Very neat indeed. So, like I said, if you guys are just skipping through the video, it was like I'm listening to Rocket League music. It's off to the side here. So, I was just playing Rocket League with my buddies on Xbox. So, I was, I'm at the main menu, just sitting there. So. <laughs> Told him I'll do a quick review real quick. So, enough said. Unpeg the guns. Get them back in his robot mode. You can unpeg the arms here if you want. Bring them out. Unpeg the legs. Swing them down. Like so. Bring out the hands. Like so. Bring the jet canopy back and I almost forgot he does have landing gear just the front piece right here for in the jet I almost forgot to show you that bring this section down rotate it back up against the back put his feet down rotate his head around and here we got storm shot back in his robot mode final thoughts on this guy highly recommend the figure if you like uh, like jet transformers a very cool figure Highly recommend it, and uh, don't forget to check out uh, Greg Monroe. He's selling some of these uh, Transformers. I knew I got Soundwave and uh, Blur from uh, Greg Monroe, so don't forget to check him out. And I do believe he has uh, uh, Titans Return Broadside for uh, I think it was 30 shipped in the U.S. So very cool. Don't forget to check him out, and uh, like I said. Hope the music didn't, got, uh, didn't bother you guys that much on this review. I just wanted to try something different. But, uh, you know, I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this new review of the Transformers Combiner Force. Combiner Force uh, uh, Autobot Storm Shot. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check check out uh web junior 1977 prime john one and game dungeon productions their links will be down in the description below and don't forget to check out greg monroe and uh tom trends double a Ron 38 sent you so enough said guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh this uh new transformers review of storm shot and this is trans iron 3 talking again don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos i do and keep a lookout for new videos headed your way and don't forget to follow me on instagram and all that good stuff any new figures headed your way so enough said guys enough of me blabbering on i'm gonna hit back up with rocket league with some of my friends and this is trans Aaron 38 out